everybody. This is Wolf Fang here. It's uh, Sunday, November the 3rd, 2019. These months just keep going by faster and faster, especially as the older you get. <clears throat> I've noticed that. I don't know if anybody else has. Anyway, I'm getting a little getting kind of late here uh, I had uh, what writer's block I wasn't sure what to uh, talk about in my video I finally came up with something so let's talk trash I'm calling this video trash talk anyway for a lot of us uh, that live in an apartment building and if uh, shit hits the fan and you're stuck in your apartment or you choose to bug in where you live, you know, what are you going to do with all the trash that accumulates? Because uh, you're going to have quite a bit. Even if you have um, animals, whether it's a cat or a dog. They're going to make trash also. So, <clears throat> as you go through this uh, scenario in your head, if you choose to, imagine power's been out for a week, maybe two weeks. Uh, so, once the water stops pumping, and I'm talking, this is living in, a, in, in an apartment. Um, as I've said in the past, I live in a four-family unit. Now, if you're a homesteader, that may be a little different, but you're still going to have to deal with your trash. So, saying that, your trash will accumulate. You have, um, okay, your, your food preps. If you have dry freeze food, you're going to have packages there. You're going to have uh, paper trash. You're just going to have all kinds of different trash like you do any other time. But you're not going to have the trash department come and pick it up. So, we as preppers also need to think about as the trash piles up, what are you going to do with it? You can burn it. But if you live in an apartment building, that's going to be kind of tough to do. You can't take it out back and just throw it in a barn barrel. Or can you? There's a thought. Maybe you have a barn barrel. But still, when, when you're going to burn your trash, you're going to attract people to you. And my opinion... That's the last thing you want to do. You don't want to attract people to you, especially if you're bugging in. So, as I read off my notes here, I wrote down, we as preppers also need to think about our trash piles up. What are you going to do with it? And where are you going to put it? Um, look into your 50-gallon trash bags. The heavy duty ones, I know they're a little pricier, but uh, that's a thought. But as your, as your trash piles up, even if you do have it in these plastic bags, um, even if you have a couple of trash cans with lids, that, uh, that would help. It's still going to attract critters. So you need to come up with a plan what you're going to do with your trash. Um, as I said, you can burn it. Um, there's different ways to deal with the trash. Once again, though, I'm emphasizing on living in an apartment and not if you have a homestead. If you have a homestead, you can probably, if you got a couple of acres, you can go bury that trash someplace or you can burn it. But once again, like I said, burning your trash, you're making smoke, um, and if uh, you're a homesteader and you don't want anybody to know where you are burning stuff, 
isn't going to help. That will might as well put out smoke signals. So, um, what do you do with it? I think your best bet would to be bury it if you have that choice to. Um, where we live, that's going to be really tough to do because there's more concrete and blacktop here than there is ground. Um, it's not like you can throw the trash bags in your car and, and drive someplace and drop it off because we're talking about uh, a down grid scenario. But like I said, the, if your electric goes out, um, you don't want to keep the trash piled inside your apartment. You want to keep that outside. Outside and as far away from your building as possible because once again the trash builds up you're gonna to have to deal with uh, field mice, rats, raccoons, possums whatever is in your area is what you're gonna to have to deal with when the trash starts to pile up and some humans will go through your trash keep that in mind also so a burn barrel um, is that a possibility where you live in your apartment um, I don't think that would really matter too much I mean if uh, shit hits the fan I don't think your landlord's gonna say much I really don't so if you can get your hands on a, a 55 gallon drum you know put some holes in it there's your trash there's your your container you can burn your trash in um, the thing is you know it'd be I have access to something like that but is the landlord willing to let me keep a 55 gallon drum in the garage because I guarantee you the landlord will be like what are you doing with this uh, 55 gallon drum do I tell them the truth or do I tell them I just like to collect stuff? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, so seriously, what do you do with your trash and how would you deal with your trash? Um, there may be other videos out there about this topic. I personally haven't run into it. Um, there was a lot of information. I did a... Uh, a couple hours this afternoon I would I was looking this topic up and there's actually a lot of information out there so anybody that is listening or watching this video look it up if you never thought about it because usually most people think um, for prepping you know your food your water your your self-defense uh, shelter that kind of stuff okay that's good that you have that all covered what are you going to do with all that waste product, though? You know, I mean, seriously, what are you going to do with it? And I, I'm more, I'm pointing this more at people that live in an apartment. As I said, people that have a homestead or, you know, live out in the country someplace, uh, they... I think their opportunity to deal with this situation is a little bit better than somebody that lives in a apartment building. Now for the people that live in an apartment building that house, oh hell, 500 people? Wow. I'm thankful that uh, the apartment that I live in is just a four family unit. I couldn't even imagine living in an apartment complex where you have over 500 people that's that's going to be some serious trash right there so as i said <clears throat> think about it what do you what do you do how do you deal with the trash that you're going to going to make because that's what you're making trash um 
as I said, you're not going to have the sanitation department roll up once a week and pick up all that trash. It's not going to happen. Uh, look at all the trash that was uh, made during Katrina. So, the next point of my trash talk is everybody has to poop. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with human waste? Now, once again, if you have a homestead, you have a lot more options than a person that lives in an apartment. Living in the apartment, the power's out, you're not going to be able to flush that, keep flushing that toilet. There's, there's, you know, the, the pumping systems uh, for the water and that. It's, you're not going to have it. So, um, there's few options. And once again, in my situation, I can't go dig a hole really out in our backyard. Because we don't really have a backyard. We have concrete for the driveway. And there's a little slope of, of hill that we could dig in. But um, everybody's going to go to the bathroom. So how, how are you going to deal with that waste? Um, what I do have that I was going to share. I don't know if I've shared this in any other videos. But this is actually a five gallon bucket. with a lid. Now, with these buckets, and you can buy them on Amazon, I think you can get them at Home Depot, but you have the lid, your toilet seat, and then <clears throat> for the five gallon bucket itself, you can get trash liners. I even wrote on there, liner for potty. But you can buy those bags and you place that bag in, in your bucket and you put the lid on and you're good to go. Ha ha, no pun intended. <laughs> the thing is, um, okay, what do you do with that waste? There's some people that say you can put that in a barrel with diesel fuel and burn it and but once again there you go burning stuff and making smoke and it's really smelly so once again you can also bury it if you have some lye dig yourself a hole make sure if you do this that you do not bury human waste near any water source stream your own water source, anything like that. Make sure that you do not bury it near a water source. Yes, I'm repeating myself. Um, 100 yards, how far away do you? Once again, that depends on your situation. Where you're at and, and your living area. I mean, this is, I'm pretty much talking about, you know, if you're bugging in. If you're going to bug in your apartment, these are the things that you need to think about. What do you, what are you, not just food waste and paper waste, but human waste. That's why I'm calling this trash talk. So you need, you really, really need to think about this kind of stuff. Yes, it's important to have your food, your water, your shelter, and uh, a way to protect yourself. But having all that, that's good, but... When your garbage starts to pile up, what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to go with it? How are you going to get rid of it? And going to the bathroom. Everybody's got to go to the bathroom. So what do you do with that? Um, I think you're best off digging a hole. And, and just bury it and make sure you dig it deep enough if you possibly can so those are my thoughts 
with my trash talk today. <laughs> I hope I put something out there to make people think a little bit. <clears throat> um, as I said, you know, there's a there's a lot of videos out there, uh, and most of them <clears throat> talk about your 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 basics. Um, if if you're going to leave your if you're going to bug out if you're going to bug in. But it's real important that uh, don't forget about all the trash that you're going to make. And the more people in your group or the more people living with you, you're going to produce more trash and human waste. Because remember, everybody's got to poop. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I know it's an odd topic to talk about, but hey, it's the truth. So what are you going to do? You guys have a great day. Blessed be. Stay safe. Oh, and make sure you have enough toilet paper. You can never have enough of that. Blessed be. Peace out. This is Wolf Fang, and I will talk to everybody next weekend. Bye.